Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Al-Hafi and I'm a Math Olympiad coach. This channel is here to help you prepare for Math Olympiad contests in general and in particular the International Mathematical Olympiads. So one question that each Olympiad participant ask is the following. What topics should I prepare or should I be strong at in order to get a medal in the Olympiad? So this video is here to answer this question. But before we move to the topics, don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. And what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So basically, we have four main topics that are covered in Math Olympiad contests. And those are algebra, geometry, number theory and combinatorics. So let's discuss each one of them separately. So the first topic we'll be discussing is algebra. Algebra contains lots of subtopics that you should be familiar with in order to prepare for math Olympiad contests. But we'll be discussing just the three most important subtopics in algebra. So the first one is sequences. We all know geometric sequences and arithmetic sequences. But remember, these are not all the sequences in the world. So the majority of problems in Math Olympiad contests usually ask you about some sequence, some general sequence. For example, you are asked to find all sequences that satisfy some condition. And sometimes you're asked, uh, you're given a sequence and asked to prove an inequality that the terms of this sequence must satisfy. So Sequences is the first subtopic in algebra and you really should prepare this by solving lots of problems related to sequences. Okay, the second subtopic is functional equations. Well, functional equations are really, really important these days because lots of IMO problems are of this type. So one example for functional equations is f of x find, or find all functions f from R to R that satisfy f of x times y equals f of x times f of y. So basically you have an equation that contains some functions and you need to find all functions that satisfy this uh, relation. So that is functional equations. You should really prepare this uh, to prepare for math Olympiad contests. The third subtopic is polynomials. Actually polynomials are really similar to functional equations. So they problem statement usually is find all polynomials that satisfy uh, some relation just like functional equations. But the importance of polynomials is decreasing uh, these days for some reason. And of course there are other stuff as well. So for example you need to know how to factor, you need uh, to know how to solve equations to simplify quantities, properties of square roots and other stuff. But basically, the most important thing is sequences and functional equations. So the second topic we'll be discussing is geometry. Geometry contains Euclidean geometry. What is Euclidean geometry? It is all about angle chasing and circles. Actually, if you're 100% uh, strong at Euclidean geometry, then you don't need any of these other tools. But trust me, it is really difficult. You want to know why? Well, the problem is when you solve a problem us using Euclidean geometry only, you probably will need to construct or to define some new points or to draw some new circles that are not even in your problem statement. Can you imagine how hard is that? Well, at least I can. So I use these tools, which are trigonometry. What is trigonometry? It's all about sines and cosines and these identities that transform sums into multiplications. But don't think that it's that simple. You really need to become an expert at expressing lengths using this uh, sines and cosines and know what to pick and when to pick these identities. So that's for trigonometry. What about coordinates? I'm pretty sure that you know Cartesian coordinates very well, but unfortunately, it's really less famous in Math Olympiad contests. The more famous uh, coordinates is 
com is complex numbers or complex coordinates and it's really useful because it solves lots of IMO problems. But my favorite coordinates of all time is very centric coordinates. Actually, I've solved uh, the IMO 2019 problem 2 using this barycentric coordinates. And there are lots of IMO problems, of recent IMO problems, that can be crashed using barycentric coordinates. So it's really useful and you should really learn it. The second or uh, the third subtopic is the inversion. Well, inversion is really all about a converter that converts your problem, transforms your problem into another version which is or which might be more difficult or more easier. So you, if you apply inversion uh, in the correct form, you will probably uh, find a new simpler version of this problem and, solves this, and solve this problem to solve your original problem. So that is inversion. What about projective geometry? Well, if you are preparing for Iranian Geometry Olympiad, you really need this because there are always one problem or two problems you, uh, that can be solved using projective geometry and it is really similar to inversion. And of course it is really important in IMO as well. So that is all about geometry. You should be very strong at Euclidean geometry and you should be familiar with these other tools as well. The third topic is number theory or NT. The most important subtopic in number theory is divisibility. But don't think that divisibility means two divides, even numbers, three divides, a number when the sum of its digits is divisible by three. No, that's not the case. The case here in Math Olympiad is to prove some complex quantities, the divisibility of them. So for example, you were given some a times b plus c divides some other quantities and you need to know how to deal with the property or with the properties of the visibility itself. So you should be preparing this kind of problems very well. The second type of problems is GCD and LCM, the greatest common divisor and the least common multiple. We all know how to find the GCD and LCM to some problem to some numbers uh, in school but don't expect to see this kind of problems in math olympiad actually you need to learn the properties of gcd and lcm and know how to use these properties efficiently the the third subtopic is mod what is mod mod is short for modulo and actually it's it's just like divisibility it's another form of expressing divisibility problems but it's, it really can make your life easier. So you really should learn how to use modulo and modulo properties very well. The fourth subtopic is Diophantine equations. Actually, that is a topic in itself because it contains lots of subtopics. Uh, but first, what is a Diophantine equation? Diophantine equation is just like any other equation, but instead of solving it in R, solve it in Z or in uh, the set of integers or the set of natural numbers. So write any equation and instead of solving it in R, solve it in Z or N. That is the Diophantine equations. And the last one is quadratic residues. Is, it is less important but is quite useful in solving some NT problems. So that is all about number theory. And finally, our last topic is combinatorics. Combinatorics consists of lots of subtopics as well. For example, tiling, coloring, and lots of other methods. We will list some of these. Counting. Counting is a really important subtopic. Not counting one, two, three, but learning how to count using induction, using permutations, and other stuff as well. So counting is really important subtopic. The second one is algorithms. Actually, this subtopic is common between IMO and uh, IOI. Algorithms uh, are sometimes asked to prove that you can do some op operation successfully, so you need to find some algorithm. Sometimes you use a famous algorithm, for example, the binary search, and sometimes you create your own algorithm to solve the problem. 
So that's about algorithms. We have existence problems. So you need to prove that something exists. So for example, do I exist or I don't? I do, right? So sometimes you are given some set of points and you need to prove that some points exist that satisfy some conditions. So for example, this point has a length, some length or some stuff, some conditions. Okay, that is existence. And lastly, we have the most fun game theory. You are simply going to the IMO and instead of seeing uh, a very difficult problem, math problem, you see some game. You see Alice and Pop are playing some game and you need to decide who will win, Alice and Bob. Provided that Alice and Bob are super smart and are very efficient in playing this game. So you might look around you and see, and see students or participants just playing some games. So don't think that they have finished the exam and they are just having fun. No, they are playing because they must be playing. That's the fact. Okay, so that is about combinatorics. So that's everything you need to know in order to get the gold medal in the IMO. No, just kidding. Of course, that's not everything you need to know. There are lots and lots of things that you need to study yourself. But at least that those are the basics or the main ideas that you should or you must know in order to prepare for Math Olympiad contests. So if you are interested in participating in Math Olympiad contests or know someone who is, then share this video with him because in this channel we'll be doing lots of tutorials and solving lots of Math Olympiad problems. So until next time, my friends, happy solving.